and colleagues. Mr. Speaker, each December, as we honour the memories of those 14 women, the survivors and the families, we promise to do better. But the reality is that in 30 years, things haven't changed enough. Women, girls and people of diverse gender identities still face unacceptable and preventable violence. Violence that destroys lives, families and communities. It is more than time for change. It is more than time to put an end to gender-based violence, including the national tragedy of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Because it is more than time to build a country where everyone is safe and where everyone's rights are respected and realized. Mr. Speaker, to find the way forward, we need only look around. From coast to coast to coast, people are coming together and saying, enough is enough. Students and parents, women and men. They're saying no to misogyny, to sexism, to hatred and to discrimination. To the survivors, advocates and everyday Canadians who have taken up this work, your courage is powerful and we will always stand with you. Armed this fall, violence. I announced that we will strengthen gun laws and ban the types of weapons, the type of weapons used at École Polytechnique. These weapons, designed to kill the largest number of people in the shortest number of amount of time, have no place in our communities, in our streets, in our country. Too many lives have already been lost, and thoughts and prayers won't stop another tra 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 tragedy. Mr. Speaker, it's time to take real steps to end gun violence in Canada.